Okay, welcome back, guys. So in today's question, we need to determine the moments of the five kilonewton force about point A and about point B. So this is the question thirty-one from the Merriam textbook, and let's get into it. So we're going to use the two D shortcut that we discussed previously in the channel. So all we need to do in here is to find the x and y component of this force. So let's start with that first. So this will be the fy and this will be our fx so what we care about in here is the direction of the force so let's start with finding the moment about point o as always we're going to call counterclockwise positive moment and we have the moment of fx and fy and what we need in here is the vertical distance to the line of action so let's start with the fy so fy we can see that the moment is in this direction so counterclockwise so we had a positive moment so we'll have force times the vertical distance which is what we have from here to here and basically we have to figure out the the movement on the x-axis so we are from o which is the origin to the x component of a which is 12 so basically we have 12 in here so that's pretty much everything for moment of the fy let's go for fx so fx we can see that the moment is counterclockwise so we have a negative sign and it will be fx times the distance from o to the line of action of fx which is what we have in here so what's the distance from point o to this point in here which we basically go 15 units or 15 meter in y-axis so we're just going to put 0.15 we don't need to put any negative sign for the distance and force because all we need to do in this 2d shortcut all we need to do in this 2d shortcut is just the magnitude of the force and the distance that we have all of these values should be absolute values we don't need to consider any direction because we already so regarding the direction of the force counting for that direction in our clockwise or counterclockwise moment so it's already applied so all we need to do in here is just put the force in here and the distance we shouldn't get confused by these negative numbers that we have and that's pretty much the answer but we have to find fx and fy so our fx would be so we have this angle 60 degrees we can see that fx will be five times sine of 60 degrees which will be 4.33 newton and our fy would be five times cosine of 60 degrees and we know cosine of 60 is 0.5 so basically five divided by two or 2.5 newton now we can find the moment very easy we have fy which was 2.5 times 12 minus 4.33 times 15 and this is going to give us 30 minus 64.95 and the moment will be minus 34.95 and this negative sign shows that uh, we are not counterclockwise so the moment would be clockwise that's the moment about point a and uh, we're gonna have very similar scenario for point b2 we only have the different uh, position vector so i'm just gonna clean up the figure but the rest is pretty similar so let's find a moment about point b again we call counterclockwise positive and let's see what we have so we have the moment of fy which this time will be in this direction about b so clockwise we have a negative psi fy which we found in the previous part 2.5 times distance and the distance would be again we go from the vertical distance from point b to the line of action which is here so basically we need to figure this system so if we can see from here to here on x-axis we have 12 and this will be 16 meaning this distance has to be 4 that way we can get 12 plus 4 which is 16 so the distance will be 4 so again we are looking for the vertical distance so we have this right angle to the line of action of the force which is uh, this so for fx we can see also fx can make a clockwise moment so we'll have a negative sign for fx too we found fx 4.33 
and let's just figure out the distance and we should be good for this one so for fx this time we're going to continue the force to the right to find that vertical distance so this will be our vertical distance and what we have basically we are moving in y direction from 0 to the y direction of fx which is 15 so again no negative sign needed in here uh, basically 2.4 2.5 times 4 is minus 10 minus this is going to be 64.95 and basically we will get minus 74.95 negative sign again counterclockwise the direction of the moment about b and that would be the final answer for the second part of the question so yeah that was pretty much the use of the 2d shortcut that we have for finding the moment in 2d questions um, we're going to use this a lot in this course for finding the moment into the questions and that yeah, hope you hope you guys find this one helpful let me know if you have any questions uh, I'd be happy to answer those in the comment section you guys take care and I'll see you in the next video have a good one mm -hmm.